What's going on Outcast Outdoor enthusiasts? It's Dallin back at it with another episode of Outcast Outdoors and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to throw down a little bit of Dutch oven cooking. We're up here camping enjoying the great outdoors and uh, we're going to cook up some Dutch oven cheesy potatoes and country style ribs. Um, so I've got the the ribs marinating I put them in a marinade last night so they've been marinating for a little over 18 hours or so so uh, they should be good and tender I'm gonna tell you what was in the marinade in just a second when we get um, when we get to that part but for the cheesy potatoes we need to peel and slice up a bunch of these taters precious so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start peeling some. I've got this bag of good old Idaho russet potatoes and we've got our Dutch oven for the ribs. I'm in this Dutch oven I have one of those liners. Since we're gonna be dealing with some barbecue sauce and stuff, do yourself a favor, get one of these liners and don't spend forever, forever uh, cleaning up afterward. You'll thank me later. So we got a liner for that one and I've got some water in here for the potatoes. What I'm going to do is peel and slice these. Um, I'm not going to slice them too thin, but I don't want them, you know, that thick either. So I don't know, an eighth, eighth of an inch or so. You're going to cut them into slices and then we're going to put them in the water. So I'm just going to get slicing and dicing here. folks so we got all of the taters sliced and they are about to give you an idea they're about that thick we don't want them too thick so that they don't that they take forever to cook but you don't want them too thin either because then they'll turn into mashed potatoes um, so you still want to have them hold their structure and shape um, because you're gonna be stirring them and things like that and messing with them a little bit so uh, cut them about like that and then um, I've rinsed them off a couple of times we've got them in some water here and to that what all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of diced up chopped up onion to give it some nice flavor so got a uh, one regular yellow onion here I'm gonna dump it in and we'll give that a good stir. Mix that all around. Mm -hmm. Hey, good. Byron. That, that looks good. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Got my little helper here. He helped me a little bit, putting some of the taters in the water for me. And then we're gonna add some freshly ground pepper. Mm -hmm. Now I like ground pepper, so I'm going to add quite a bit. Got to stand up. Really get some elbow action in there. Dad, and I love pepper too. It's so that spicy. gives it good flavor, huh? Mm. All right. 40 turns or whatever of that. So you're adding a bunch of pepper, and then we're going to add a little bit of Lowry season salt. Wow. Now I did about... I don't know six or seven potatoes because if you're making a lot or a little it doesn't really matter it the cooking time is almost the same and uh, these make really good leftovers I mean you could eat them for breakfast you could eat them for lunch you could eat them for dinner you could eat them for Hanukkah Christmas you, whatever you're into they're freaking Dad, good. I want to eat those for Christmas. <laughs> for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Well, it's August, so we're going to have to wait a while, huh? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put the put the lid on this. 
and get it on the, the camp chef burner here. The camp chef burner. All right, so follow me. I'll come over here. All right. We'll set it on the burner. Now, I'm not going to start him. I'm not going to start the potatoes just yet because the ribs need a longer time to cook. So they're just going to hang out in that seasoned water and uh, they'll be just fine. Now, for the ribs, I've got them on to start already right here. Um, right here in my lodge uh, Dutch oven. I'm going to go ahead and grab the the lid lifter here I'll let you take a peek so what I've done they're already starting to cook but what I've done is I've taken some I've taken some onion and bell pepper and I basically layered that on the bottom of this dish I sprayed a little bit of cooking oil or Pam cooking spray so that it wouldn't stick as much I layered the peppers and the onions on the bottom to give it a nice base then I put the uh, ribs just in a layer on top, just like that. Now, this was the marinade um, that I had the uh, ribs marinating in. These ribs are a country style pork rib. Uh, they're boneless, they got a little bit of fat on them, but the boneless part of it makes it really easy for the kids to eat. So that's why we went that route. Um, for the marinade, I told you I'd, I'd uh, say what was in there. I put one can of Diet Coke. Now you could use regular Coke or Dr. Pepper or Sprite, whatever you got on hand. It just helps to tenderize the meat. Put a little bit of vegetable oil and some soy sauce. And then some a, a splash of um, Worcestershire sauce. Now I don't know how you're supposed to say that word if it's Worcestershire or Worcester or whatever, uh, that, that sauce that starts with a W, you put a little bit of that in there. And then I added to that mix a little bit of this Trader Joe's Barbecue 101 seasoning, okay? And I let that marinate for at least 18 hours, okay? So it's been in there, chilling, letting the flavors all get happy, happy in there. And uh, now what we're going to do is just add a little bit more of that barbecue 101 seasoning on top of the ribs. Okay, so we're going to put just a light dusting of that Trader Joe's barbecue 101 right on top there. Give it a little extra flavor. Now I've got these ribs um, on a medium low heat. Okay. You want to make sure that you're not cooking these too hot initially it's kind of a low and slow game all right you can also if you're at home you can do this um in a crock pot i've done this multiple times in a crock pot if you if you do the uh, ribs on low you can leave them in there for six or seven hours if you do it on high setting you can do them in about four or five they'll be ready to go so with this method we're going to try to go with that low and slow uh, method of cooking and it's a little bit tougher here with the with the camp chef stove to monitor the heat but I'm gonna keep an eye on it we're gonna put the lid back on here these are these are starting to get warm you can see the the steam coming off them man it already smells really good we're gonna put the lid back on there and once again we got that lighter in there so we don't have to do a whole ton of work for cleanup so those liners work really nice we're gonna let that go for an hour or so and then I'm gonna check back on it okay I'm not gonna start the potatoes yet because once again they they're not gonna take that long so we'll we'll start those in just a second okay so the ribs are cooking away um, on that low medium low heat if you would like to know the recipe for for what we're making today um, I'll leave a recipe in the in the description below especially for like the marinade and things um, so that recipe will be in the description below so check that out 
Also, if you um, have any other recipes that you'd like to see us do for the Dutch oven cooking, let us know. Um, I'll include my email in the bot in the description as well, so you can email me at my outcastoutdoor33 at gmail.com email account. Okay. So in the meantime, while things are cooking, I thought I'd uh, um, give in to peer pressure and try the uh, Sprite challenge. Evidently, all the cool kids are doing it these days. Uh, it's weird because Sprite went to these clear bottles, but I swear to you, it is Sprite in here. I purchased it not too long ago, um, and I haven't opened it. So evidently, you're supposed to drink this and not burp. So, just so you know it's not water, see, hear that fizz? Oh, oh, see the fizz? Yep, it's soda in there. Don't, don't, uh, don't think I'm cheating, it is Sprite. So, this is a 20 fluid ounce, uh, bottle here. So, uh, bottoms up, I guess. Let's see how it goes. got a lot of carbonation in that sucker. Oh, I don't know if I should like guzzle it or drink it slower. I think they put extra fizz in these ones. Dr. Pepper is definitely not this fizzy. I'm baking like a toasted cheese or this soda isn't helping. They got a little bit left. I did it. I did it. Daddy, I succeeded. Got the whole 20 fluid ounce. Dad, did you use a... Did you... <sighs> it does hurt the gut, though. <laughs> so, hey. That... <laughs> oh, 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 man. That that was that was rough on this the old stomach, but I drank it all before I belched. So I don't know. You tell me. Does that count? Is that good? Was I safe or am I out? You be the judge. All right, folks. So hey guys. All right, folks. I'm gonna check on the old ribs here. You see all that? There's some juice coming, but. Man, I wish you had smell-o-vision because it is smelling good. Looking good there. Those have been going for about close to 50 minutes or so. I just barely turned on the the burner to medium low on the potatoes. And so we'll let the potatoes go for a little while um, till they come to a boil and then you can turn it down a, a little bit if you need to. Keep monitoring the temperature, making sure everything's looking good. Um, and we're enjoying enjoying the, the beautiful scenery. It's a nice day today. High 80s, maybe low 90s. Blistering hot. You're able to go do some tubing today too. Floating the river again, so that was fun. Okay, so in a little bit I'll be back with you. We'll check up again on the the ribs and the taters okay folks time to check on the ribs oh boy sure smells good 
you can see it's cooking down and it had quite a bit of juice so what I'm gonna do now is remove the ribs and the peppers and onions and I'm gonna put them in this pot here and then I'm gonna drain the juices and then um, after I've done that I'm gonna take some sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce and pour that over the top so let me uh, let me take these ribs out and the onions put them in the pot and uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we go to put the uh, barbecue sauce on okay so we drained the majority of the juice off of there so that's what you can see that's what it looks like then we're gonna add some of the sweet baby rays um, barbecue sauce um, and I'm just gonna let her let her go for a little bit while longer the potatoes are almost there too so we'll be eating shortly but we'll get this back on the fire and get that barbecue sauce warmed up and should be eating time it's looking good smelling even better all right my friends the ribs are looking good they're sizzling away got them on low now turned them down once i got them up to temperature the potatoes are done now too so i went ahead and drained them and i'm gonna add a secret ingredient here <laughs> not so secret but we had uh, bacon this morning with our pancakes and eggs for breakfast so we had a little bacon left over we got to get all the stragglers there can't leave no bacon left behind right all right so we're gonna put these back on low heat and uh, get them get them rewarmed up from being drained out all right folks so the taters are looking good let's go ahead and open it up here Ooh, doggy all it needs is a little cheese that's why we call them dutch oven cheesy potatoes so we're gonna go ahead and lay some shredded cheddar Okay, what the heck? Should we put the whole thing on? Might as well, right? We're camping. What the heck? Okay, you can have the remnants out of there. Sure, why not? There's no calories when you're camping. Holy smokes. These are gonna be extra cheesy. I know you like them cheesy. Sloppy. Okay. There's Yummy. our cheesy taters. Okay, let's go ahead and put the lid on, okay. boys. We'll let that go nice and easy over the top. Yep. Okay, we're gonna turn it down to low heat. Just be very low, so that it'll just melt those, melt the cheese nice and easy. Take a look at this, guys. Holy smoke. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh those look freaking good man they're starting to get nice and tender i've been cooking them for like I three hours jokes. three and, nice and a half hours bacon i mean ribs <laughs> i like those ribs that those are nice ribs <laughs> i like that boulder that is a nice boulder that's on track that is that is but you turned it around to be like ribs i like those ribs those are some nice ribs huh yeah okay all right I think we just need to let this go for a few more minutes. We'll be ready to plate up and eat. You guys ready? Yum. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, Byron. We got your plate. Go ahead and try some ribs. You good? Mm hmm. Mmm. Is it tender? How do you like the spuds? Good too. Is it good, Bree? <laughs> Do you like it? 
Okay, Easton. I'm going to. I'm going to try a bite of potatoes first. Okay. That's good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Like enough cheese for you. Okay, go ahead and try some of the My rib. My favorite cheese is American cheese. Is it? Yeah. You but do that's like American. Real cheese, right now. Perfect. Is that good? What do you think of the meat? Good. Is it good ribs? Mm -hmm. Alright. Bree says yes. Bree, do you like it too? Is it good? Bree, do you like it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a head nod. Alright. Okay. We'll get the rest of us dished up and we'll give it a shot here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give the taters a shot here. Lovely cheesy potato, a little bit of bacon. Just like I remember. My dad made these all the time when we were growing up. Going camping. It's just a staple. So cutting them that thick, you know, they kind of held their shape pretty good. Add a little bacon in there. Perfecto mundo. These ribs are just, they were just falling apart. Look at that. Looks like a dadgum burn end or something. These are the poor man's burn ends. Super tender. Super tender, wow. Barbecue sauce, got that nice tang. I added a little bit more of that uh, barbecue 101. Like I said, when I added, after I added the uh, meat, so I added a little bit more as they were cooking. Man, does that taste good. Once again, I'll have that recipe in the description below. Um, let us know if you ever try it. Let us know how, it, how you like it. It's pretty easy. It does take a little bit of time, but it's really easy, really good. Um, thanks for watching this video. That's going to be it for now. Appreciate the support and uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe, my friends. And remember, to get out casting. Remember to get out casting, or in this case, cooking. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>